So you have introduced this new for 2017. We have, and it's garnered a lot of attention already. Okay. This is called the 590 Shockwave. So it is based on our 590 pump action shotgun. However, it falls into the category by the BATF as being a 14 inch firearm. Right. Reason being, some people may look at it and think that's a short barrel shotgun, but actually it is not. It has an overall length of 26 and a half inches, 14 inch barrel. This is called the Raptor Grip, actually kind of a bird head design. Like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> but it makes it very comfortable to handle the recoil and actually control of it as well. You kind of mentioned here the strap, this kind of corn cob style uh, forend, again uh, for additional control. Um, this will actually, it's a 12 gauge, two and three quarter and three inch gun, has a six round capacity that's five and okay. one. Um, great thing about it though, there's actually a little adapter out there that you can get that will allow it to hand, handle the mini shells. Okay. So for a home defense gun, some people are a little concerned about capacity with shotguns. Using the adapter and the mini shells, you can actually increase the capacity to uh, nine. Okay. Uh, great thing about it again, uh, retail price is around four fifty. This falls into a category where no tax stamp is involved, no additional paperwork. Um, federally, it's legal. You may want to check your state and local regulations, but it's a great home defense firearm. Okay. I, this is not something I would normally associate with a home defense arm. This seems like something that actually would be quite difficult to control with no buttstock. Uh, actually, it's not. And the reason being this grip, uh, you know, uh, people are kind of familiar with pistol grips. And I think that's a little more uncomfortable for people because you take most of the recoil in your hand. But the ability to use this grip is more of a traditional recoil. So you're not exactly, you're not absorbing it all in your hand. You're I, able actually to naturally handle the recoil. I, I picture people you trying to use the bead sight on that and lining it up in their eye and taking the recoil in their teeth. No, no, and that's one of the keys here. This is actually not one you have to sight. If you think about a home defense scenario, in most cases, you know, 10 yards, maybe a little bit further, it's really more of a point and shoot type scenario, so not so much aiming. But you can actually comfortably handle this, like bracing it here at the hip. I have no trouble shooting it like this with actually not bracing it. Again, the advantage of the mini shells too, they have reduced recoil. Uh, so it's, I found it very comfortable to shoot. Um, no what, kind of, what kind of choke do you have on it? Do you know how it patterns? Uh, you know, actually I've not personally done any patterning. We shot it yesterday at range day out to 25 yards and people were pretty impressed with the pattern. This is not typically a 25 yard gun though. Well, I'm mostly curious about how open the pattern actually is. If you're shooting from the hip inside the home at typically five to 10 yards, you're not really going to get any dispersion of your shot column and you're going to have to aim it if you want to hit anything. Uh, somewhat that's true, but one of the great things about this too, with all of our shotguns, we drill and tap the receiver so it's very easy to add a laser uh, to assist you with sighting, which in this case I think would be a real plus. Uh, if I was setting this up at home, that's exactly what I would do. Uh, but it's a, a cylinder bore, so uh, typically what you would expect there. Okay, thank you very much. I appreciate thank it. Thank you, and for more information, check us out at www.mossberg.com. There you have it, guys. Thanks.